Welcome to the topic, antihypertensive drug mnemonics. So hypertension, hyper is high BP, means high tension on the heart. Signs and symptoms of the hypertension we can remember as A, B, and C. A is an achy headache, B for blurred vision, retinopathy, and C is for the chest pain, which is also called as the angina. What are the causes of the hypertension as SODA, soda, S for stress, smoking, sedentary lifestyle, O for obesity, oral contraceptives can be a cause, diet, which is high sodium and cholesterol, or any disease can also cause the hypertension, and A is for the age factors. Then non-pharmacological treatment as dress, so D as a diet. If we will control our diet, like low SCC, S is a sodium, C calories, C cholesterol. R, reduce alcohol and caffeine. E is exercise that walk at least 30 minutes a day. S is stop smoking and alcohol. And S is the stress reduction. Then we have pharmacological treatment, which can be memorized as A, B, C, D. A as an ACE inhibitors and ARBs lowers the BP. We can use that as the first choice of the drug. Then beta blockers, which block the beats. Then we have the CCBs that calms the heart. And we have D, diuretics and dilators, which does the vasodilation. So now we will do them in detail. ACE inhibitors, how we remember them. All the ACE inhibitors, they share the common suffix pril. Remember a pril. So we can remember with the freckle B. So F from the freckle is pocinopril, or remipril, anilepril, captopril, quinopril, lisinopril, and benzopril. So we can remember the names of the drugs that falls in the category of the ACE inhibitors with the suffix pril. Then how we remember the uses, home care makes the patients definitely strong. Pick the first letter of every word, like H from home, hypertension, C for congestive heart failure, M is for myocardial infarction, P is prophylaxis of the cardiovascular risk, D for diabetic neuropathy, and S for the scleroderma crisis. So home care makes the patients definitely strong. The first letter is the all the uses of the ACE inhibitors. What are the side effects of the ACE inhibitors? For example, captopril, we can remember with the name as the side effect. So every letter repair is for C is for cuff, A is angioedema, P pregnancy, T taste changes, O like rashes and fatigue, P proteinuria, our renal insufficiency, I increased potassium, and L low blood pressure. So every letter is showing the side effect of the ACE inhibitor. If a person is not taking ACE, the second class is ARBs, that is angiotensin II receptor blockers. All these, they end with the sartan. They are the cardiac lovers. For example, T as a tell me sartan, C as a candy sartan, L as a low sartan, O as an all me sartan, and V as a well sartan and aprosartan. So we say there's a the, cardiac love. The first letter of the the is T, tell me certain. For cardiac is C, can be certain, and then L-O-V-E, low certain, only certain, well certain, apro certain. What are the side effects of the? Side effects are again, as the name of the drug is low certain, every letter of this word will show the side effect of the ARBs, like L as a low blood pressure, O other fatigue, headache, and dizziness, S is swelling, a as an allergic reactions, R as raised potassium, T is teratogenic effects, A is an acute kidney injury, and N is the nasal congestion. Easy way to remember ARB side effects. Then we come to the beta blockers as B, as a drug which is used for hypertension. So these are cardioselective. The first classification is cardioselective beta blockers, which act mainly on the beta-1 receptors in the heart. And we can remember with the mnemonic, new exclusive beta blockers are acting mainly cardioselectively. So this line, every word, the first letter will be representing the classification of the cardioselective beta blockers, like new and nebivolone. 
E. Esmolol, B. Bisoprolol, B. Bitoxalol, A. Acibutalol, A. As in etinolol, M. Metoprolol, C. Celiprolol. So you can remember all the names of the drugs. Then we have partial agonist beta blockers, which shows the sympathetic activity we can remember. And their mnemonics are contain partial agonist-like property. Again, the first letter, C, cartilol, celiprolol, P, pindolol, A, acibutalol, L, labetalol, and P, penbutalol. Then we have membrane-stabilizing beta blockers, which shows the local anesthetic effects. Again, their mnemonics includes process the local anesthetic membrane stabilizing property because it's a local anesthetic. So it is showing the local anesthetic membrane stabilizing. And we are taking the first letter of all P, propranolol, L, labetalol, A, acibutalol, M, metoprolol, and P, pindolol. Then what are the effects of the beta blockers on the heart and blood vessels? We can remember with SORA, like somebody's name, SORA, it got CHF. So every first letter, S as a systole will be prolonged. This is the effect of beta blocker. Oxygen consumption will be decreased. Refractory period will be decreased. Automicity decreases. Blood pressure decreases. Cardiac output decreases. Heart rate decreases. And force of contraction decreases. So what is the beta blockers are affecting on heart and blood vessels? Then what are the uses of beta blockers? How to crack dam PG entrance? Again, the first letter, H, hypertension, T, thyrotoxicosis, C, cardiac arrhythmia, cardiac heart failure, D, dissecting aortic aneurysm, A, angina, anxiety, M is migraine or myocardial infarction, P is pheochromocytoma, G is glaucoma, and E is essential tremors. So beta blockers can be used for all these of the any of diseases. Then we have side effects of beta blockers like bald fish. So B A L D F I S H. B for bronchoconstriction, A for arrhythmia, L is lethargy, D is disturbance in glucose metabolism, F is fatigue, I is insomnia, S is sexual dysfunction, H is hypotension. Then is the C is calcium channel blockers, C for calcium channels, C for they calms the heart, they lower the BP, blood pressure, and the they lower the heart rate as well. For example, nifedipine, cardizem, and verapamil. These are the names of the calcium channel blockers. Then we have diuretics. They can be memorized by three Ds. They decrease the BP, they drains the fluid and helps to urinate, and they dehydrate the dried body. Then potassium washing, furosemide, and the HC hydrochlorothiazide. These are the drugs as the diuretics. But we have to be very careful while taking these drugs. For the low potassium, we have to eat more fruits and the greeny left vegetables. If we are taking a potassium sparing diuretic, which is pyronolactone, then we have to avoid the salt substitutes. Another D is for the dilators, which is vasodilators. They relieve the pressure. D for decreased pressure, D for dilated vessels, and D for decreased vascular resistance. Nitroglycerin is the drug which is used as vasodilator, which is for the rest and relaxed heart. And the caution is this drug should not be given with any erectile drugs like sildenafil or Viagra. It can cause up to the death. Thanks for watching the video.